so I didn't get to camp until nine o'clock. I won't get to camp. I um, I was hiking at nine. I fell in a river. Um, yeah, fell straight. I was getting water. Fell down into a river. Uh, some foot slipped. <laughs> Um, so I'm soaking wet, I'm walking along, I've got water finally, and I'm like, you know what, I get to this road, and instead of going straight across this little bitty teeny path opening, which of course it's dark, I can't see it, I go down to a road, and I'm like getting ready to cross this river, and I'm like, wait a second, I'm not supposed to cross a river right now, I got a mile or so to go before I cross this river, and sure enough, I'm like, ah, you know what, I'm going to pack it in right here so I've got like 13 miles to go into Monson today which is okay it's uh, about six o'clock uh, 13 miles and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm actually gonna hike a little faster today than I did yesterday just because I I shouldn't have taken all that time anyway uh, so I go to sleep and I hear some people you know coming by and I'm like ah, whatever you know, and I thought they were walking. Um, no, seems to, I set up my tent and there were three other tents set up next to mine. It was kind of weird waking up with a bunch of tents around you all of a sudden out of nowhere. Especially since, you know, you're not, you're way off in, you're in the woods, you know. <laughs> anyway, uh, so 13 miles of Monson, I got across a brook. I'm actually carrying my shoes. Oh, they're soaking wet, of course, because I fell in a river yesterday. I'm carrying my shoes, I'm wearing my Crocs, and the only reason I'm doing that is because I have to ford a river in another mile. So I figure I'll just walk a mile, walk a mile in these Crocs, and then uh, ford this river. There's supposed to be hornets in it, so who knows how that's going to work out. And uh, hornets around it, anyway. So, um, yeah, I'm going to keep on trucking, make it to Monson. Oh, a shower, a shave, shave my head. Oof, it'd be glorious. Oof. Hey, we're getting ready to ford this river. See this line? Somebody was nice enough to put a rope all the way across this. Some good line. This is actually tree climbing rope. That's not a zip line? No, it's not a zip line. And uh, apparently, right near that tree up there is where there's a hornet's nest. So we got to be careful with this whole thing. So we're going to figure out how this works out. All right, there he goes. Our intrepid explorer. He's got one hand on the. Watch out for the beehive. I don't think the road's helping. Yeah, that's not good. Watch out for the hive of bees. Okay, this is a long way to cross a river. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna cut to the chase. Actually, maybe I should keep filming just in case you fall in and die to your die. How cold is it? Oh yeah, the water's nice and cold. Oh, that's cold. I'm not gonna go all the way across, but I am gonna go part way because, well, why not, right? Um, but I can go over here to this little cairn of doom that has a, oh, look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. I wonder if I can get that so that. There he goes, our intrepid employee explorer is still in, He's, well, he's being intrepid. There he is. Intrepid as he could be. Whew. Okay, so we made it across the river. We're hiking. I thought I had a slug inside my shoe. Turns out it's just my shoes falling apart. Uh, I'm following Rambo because he's on fire this morning. Apparently the oatmeal he had that was supposed to be uh, strawberries and cream turned out to be... Uh, cinnamon and spice so his taste buds were totally in revolt which means that he's gonna hike fast which duh obvious correlation there right <laughs> anyway this is the trail we're going on we've already crossed the river there were no bees or hornets or at least they were all out for breakfast so they didn't find any of us at that point so um but yeah, it's a beautiful trail, and he's on fire, and I'm just trying to keep up. <laughs> Going through here, kind of reminds me of California. It's piney and whatnot. Oh, it's beautiful up here. 
trail's real nice. Not too many ups and downs, just enough to make you feel it. Not too many rocks in the road. Uh, the shrooms are still out. We're still walking along this river, which is beautiful. You can just hear it in your in your head, the white white noise, I guess that's what you call that. If you're just sitting still, sometimes you'll hear it referred to as the roar of the river. It's just really cool. Anyway, this is the trail. And these are mushrooms. Look at them. They're everywhere. All kinds, all shapes, all colors. Just big as dinner plates sometimes, and then as small as a yeah, thumbtack. Sometimes they're growing on trees, sometimes they're just growing on the side of the trail. Sometimes they're growing in the trail. I don't know. Pretty. All the same. Check it out. A lake. It's awesome. We just popped over a ridge and bam, there it is. And uh trail's not too bad right now. We got about a mile to go. And then uh we're gonna book it into town. Pick up resupply, etc., and see what we got going on. Yeah, baby, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Uh, you guys might not be able to see the magnificent scope that I'm looking at, but uh, you can get a glimpse of it, right? 